Hey, sleepers, make sure you grab our brand new tees and beanies right now. Pre-order window ends this week, Friday, June 9th, and will never be available again. If you want a tee and a beanie, make sure you head to SleptKingdom.com. Once again, that is SleptKingdom.com to wear your Toki the Dum Dum inspired merch. Also, don't miss out and grab your tickets to Tiger Belly Live. It is not a podcast, it is a game show, meaning you have a chance to come up on stage, play with us, and win some prizes. Grab your tickets at www.TigerBellyLive.com. Now on to the show. this to you this isn't a kid's shirt this is just a female crop top but i will say that men are wearing crop tops again so i think you should give it a try nope <laughs> why not nope i'm doing not doing none of that now no more for me i don't know i like it i like the idea of i'm a man take back masculinity yeah yeah i'm alpha dude i've been a, a, a prey all, my whole life a prey? a prey you mean a predator no prey Oh, okay. Yeah, he has. He's more. Pretty. But now I'm predator. Let's go. What? Wow, that's where we're gonna go. Uh, In and out. <laughs> Let's go where? Where do you want to go? I I'll mean, go anywhere you want. What do you mean by your? My point is, is that I've I've been a I've been sheep all my life, and now I'm a wolf, lion, tiger. I'm no, I'm a wolf. Uh, I see you more as like a sea otter. Oh. Okay. Well, so do sea otters kill elephants? No, but they can Kill float him. on their backs and crack like the toughest of shells. There we go. You can oh, they can? Yeah, they're so smart. Sea otters are amazing. It, I, I, a sea otter could kill an elephant if you just give him time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like If you give him like 200 like, years and he just nibbles a little bit. Mm -mm, he no? Would, he would bait him into the water and <laughs> yeah. the elephant would tire from swimming and then drown. Oh. oh sad death. Oh, sad. Because uh, otters are crafty. Are, are you really? Yeah, they're, the they're smart, really they're, smart. There's like smart dog. Are they dog like dogs? Sea dogs? Kind of, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I've never seen an otter in my life. Have you? Uh, no. They look like swimming weasels. I've never seen a weasel in my life. <laughs> I've never seen any look kind of. Mirror. Oh, that no. Oh, that's, that's mean. Cute. That's cute. Cute. Oh my god, that one has a Hitler mustache. Oh, so <laughs> cute. So sweet. Yeah. Oh. See that mustache on otters? It still works. It works. You know, you do that on a human. A white guy? Yeah, you're know. canceled. But Otter, look at that. He can still have a Hitler mustache. Aren't yeah. they so cute? They are so cute. That's who you are. What did you tell She's me? She's taking it in What, right now. what that's did you what text you are. me? You know, I know that's who you are. What did you text me when you were in Wyoming? What did I say? Okay, here you go. Oh, here we go. Using my text against me. <laughs> um, you Same said... Same old antics. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, here you, here mm -hmm. you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, is Wyoming so beautiful? What did I say? And you said, no, I'm not a mountain man. I'm a, I'm a man of the sea. I am. I'm a man of the Dang. sea. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am not a mountain man. I'm a man of the sea. Yeah. And you're, I you're a mountain man. Yeah. More inland, you're happier you are. How about you? West Hollywood. Sea. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 coastal. Yeah. Still. Go very coastal. Yeah. You like to swim with the gays. Oh, oh my God. Swimming with the gays oh, in the back. Yes. Um, they have their own style. How's that go? What are the I sounds? don't want. Well, they have. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get wait, canceled. Wait, I don't want to get canceled. I just want to know what kind of strokes do they do. They do a fairy swirl. <laughs> oh, where they sit in a circle and just, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Swirl in the water. Um, they also do. Um, <laughs> They also do just, they, they're just bent over. <laughs> <laughs> but that's more aerodynamic in the water. That's, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what else. <laughs> you, so, you don't know what else? I don't know what else. That's all? I don't know what else. I just they said were bent, just bent over? Well, it's called, it's called um, adding information. And sometimes you throw it out there and it doesn't work. So it doesn't work sometimes. Yeah, 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 I just woke up. It doesn't work. You, took, you just woke up? He did. Yeah, yeah. I've been so tired. but um, Yeah. We just woke up and... um. You're just playing Elden Ring all day. It's terrible. You sent me a video of an old man um, dancing with a box of his wife's ashes at oh like 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. And were you just going through like an emotional like... No, that video was funny. You know, oh, you thought it was funny. <laughs> no, you were crying. No, no. I know you. You go through these. Oh, things. you didn't see the end of the video? He drops the box. He does? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get there. That's why I was like, could have been us. And wait, he was wait, like, wait, yeah, wait. baby. Yeah, baby. Wait, wait, wait. 
You saw the video. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh my god! No, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on. No, so, no, wait, hold on. Yeah. So I, I send you right at two thirty in the morning. Two thirty, me a video of an old man carrying his urn, his wife's urn, and the, he's at a correct dance. He's dancing he with says, his wife. My yeah. last dance my with last my wife. Dance. Yet the <laughs> very end, he drops it. Oh, shit. The ashes go all over the place, and the whole crowd goes, whoa. <laughs> right? And uh, you laugh, right? And he looks so sad. Okay, I'm sending it to you right yeah. now. What did you think it was? It was just the thought of, I sent you a video of an old man. Yeah, and that's why I, I said, could have been us, baby. Earn. And you go, I know. Oh, yeah, I would have dropped you. You would have dropped <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would have dropped you. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it. No, I'm kidding. There's no drop. Oh, come on. No, man. you can drop me. No, the, like... no, the video's not a drop. He, it was a sentimental video. Oh, it oh. was. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. So you were in one of those crying. You were in I was that, crying. that yeah, mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I just did that. I lied. I don't know, but you know, and you know what? I went this way and that way. You know, you know, I'm like the, I'm like the uh, Korean Joker. I, you don't know out of me. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, I'm a Batman villain. I, I go this way, that way. You know, one day I'm gonna burn half my face. I'll be into the other guy. It'll be fine. I want to be a Batman villain. I'd rather be a villain now in my life. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I think everyone's like villain era is far more interesting than the rest of their other eras. Yeah, what would you do as a villain? Oof. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have fantasies, baby. Hit me. I'm not going to talk about it, yeah, baby, because yeah, yeah. one day it's going to get carried out, baby. You're, wow. But you don't know what kind of lair you'd have? You don't think about stuff like that? No, it's basically like... Are you underground or top of the tower? There's that's the two type of villains. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Like, do you have the penthouse or do you have an underground lair with sharks? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, Always at the top of dark bar. cloud. It's not gonna be a no fancy penthouse. I'm gonna be like a villain. Like, Just Bane. Yeah. Underground. I'm an underground villain. What are you? Penthouse villain? No, I live in a stump. Inside a tree. Some more. A stump tree. Yeah. Fantastical. Alice in Wonderland. No, it, it, the you Cheshire, know how they chop down trees? The Cheshire Cat. You know how they chop down trees? Yeah. yeah. Right? And they leave the stumps? Y yeah. Right? If you look down on the stump, there's a little opening. There's a little latch. That's where I come out. <laughs> Late at night. You know what I mean? And what is your, what, what are you trying to terrorize? If I'm terrorizing. I don't care. I have no, there's, because there's, there's no hero, right? So I'm just terrorizing everybody. First, probably, you know what I mean? The, um, you, know, the tree, you know, the people that take care of the national parks. The park, rangers, the so your, park ranger. your main. <laughs> That's the first people I take ranger. down. Yeah. Park ranger. Well, I, I, but to get out of the stump, right? I, I, I'm full of mayo. QP? No, my skin has mayo on it. I know QP. QP mayo. What's QP? The Japanese one. Come on. No, uh, only the American version. Oh, Oscar. What's, what's, Oscar. Mm -hmm. So to get out of the stump, I, I, I'm, I'm, I have mayo. I, I come out. You know what I mean? I'm completely naked. Yeah. Someone's like, hey man, just make the hole bigger. <laughs> what? Just cut a bigger <laughs> hole. <laughs> Why are you trying to force yourself with mayo? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. But you know, I'm not like you know, I'm not like a Tony Stark villain where I like I know things. See, I think of I have you as, no money. I think of you as more of a Tony Stark. Like she's underground. To me, you're like billionaire playboy. But what I, you don't yeah. realize, dude, that's not actually me. That's my decoy. Oh, so like you're Bruce Wayne? No, people think that that's the villain, right? The guy that mayo got. You're. I hire some random Asian guy that kind of looks like me. I put mayo on his skin. Yeah. I put, you gotta live in that stump, right? Okay. Right? And so at late night, so you, you know, they think that he's the guy. Bobby Lee's in there. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on a tr real trip. Okay, you're Lex Luthor then. You yeah. really are Lex Luthor. <laughs> yeah, I'm Lex Luthor. Um, yeah, yeah. Slightly unrelated, what? but I spent a lot of my childhood with mayonnaise in my hair because it was a way to kill lice. Can we? Wait, wait, wait. Is that a Filipino? Don't, don't, don't look it up. Don't look it up for a second. I need to know if this is real. I know, I do too. I need, I have some questions for us. My first question is why? Um, I think it drowns. <laughs> why them. in God's name? Great question. In the same way that you needed the mayo to lube up you, you living in a stump. Yeah. I think that it. I think it drowns them or something. I don't know what it is about mayo, but it. It and then you. So you. You coat your whole head with mayo, and then you get this comb we call a sud, mm. and it's a very very fine tooth comb, and then you do this, and then mm -hmm. all the lice comes out with a mayo. Wait, why can't you put? Uh, yeah, go ahead. May I ask who gave you this information? Uh, it's in the same way that Filipinos tell you if you have a burn, you put toothpaste on it. Oh, okay. Colgate? It's the same Filipinos. thing. Filipinos. Mm -hmm. Is that like if you get a bruise or something, you get cut, they go spray Windex on it. Like the Greeks. Like the Greeks. Yeah, maybe. But I think that the mayo thing actually works because it just kind mm. of like... Mm -hmm. But why not But why not creme fraiche? Why does it have to be mayo? Oh, it doesn't work. 
<laughs> Besides making your hair feel messy and oily, mayonnaise is unlikely to trigger. But it's headlines. funny when we see you do it. <laughs> well, the, the whole neighborhood was laughing at you guys. The, look at the what coon. a fool you are. Look at the coon family. Mayo heads. Look at the cute, yeah. And then we always had toothpaste, so if you had a burn, we'd be like... Did you put lettuce on your head, too? What, what, what are you, a BLT? What's going on? Oh, I'll tell you other things. <laughs> <laughs> to fix your eyes with bacon. Like, yeah, yeah, you bake it. When, you we did, like, arts and, <laughs> when we did arts and crafts, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we ran out of like paste or glue, yeah. we would just use cum? cooked rice. Oh, cooked rice. Anyway. Cooked this, rice works wow. really well. To, like, we um, use cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paste yeah. papers yeah. together. Oh, cooked rice? That cooked works? Rice, yeah. And then, so let me ask you about the cooked rice, right? Um, can you eat it later or no? It, we're gonna eat it off like dried in a piece of paper. It's like crispy rice. You know how they have the mm. crispy rice? Can oh, like the tuna. tuna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spicy tuna, yeah. That's weird. So you guys didn't have Eleanor's glue, huh? We did, but it's just, you know, in a pinch, <laughs> like life hacks. These are just life hacks. So, oh, what else? Are also, Filipino life hacks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so curious about it, what your family told you. Yeah, I mean, there, there are a lot. Like, what, what is an ailment you have? And I'll tell oh, you. Oh, how about this? Um, this is good. As socks, do you, how about socks? What do you do? Get leaves? Oh, to wear socks? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not an ailment. <laughs> that's just clothing. Oh, oh, oh. Is this just. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You mean <laughs> ailment? You're right. It's ailment. So you are a socks. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Well, that's still, I thought we were going more life hacks than, you know what I mean? She definitely said, what's an ailment? We had socks. <laughs> you had socks there? Yeah. Like, I thought maybe you were going to ask about, like, wait, wait, wait. It's not a stretch to think that you don't have glue, you use rice. We had glue. It's just that if we ran out of glue. You could run out of socks. <laughs> Right? Have you, know you ever run out of socks? That is, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Where it's well, like, then if we don't have socks, so <laughs> then we go to Ni'il, which is the no yeah, socks no and socks. no shoes, and then I get worms. In your hair or your feet? In my asshole. Oh. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Let's guts. stop, stop. Big joke. If you're not wearing socks well, or they, shoes and you're walking around, you let worms crawl up your leg and go in your tell, asshole? I don't know how true this is, but they used to tell the kids, like, don't walk around barefoot because you're going to get worms. Look that up. It's another fake thing. You guys have been misguided. <laughs> okay. People living in areas warm and moist climates where sanitation hygiene are poor are at risk of hookworm infection if they walk barefoot. <laughs> hookworm? What's a hookworm? Yeah. Oh, 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 I hate <laughs> your... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's her villain laugh. Yeah, but yeah. That's her villain. villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. What else? What else are you going to say about that? No, no, what I'm, that's what a hookworm. So oh, so it goes, where is that? Is that the asshole? That's that that's that looks like a, the colon. The colon. No, where does it enter? What is it? The foot. The look, 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 look. So, see these so you lied. Worms. Stop. Look, look, you look. Know. It goes into your foot. Right. It travels. So you, you lied. Uh, you not said, about having worms. I've had worms. I understand that, but you're saying you have worms and guess in your what? asshole. So you, the location of the worm is wrong. That's why I assumed that it crawled up the leg. All right? So it, it's in the fucking foot. I want to be give honest. You, I want to give you worms so bad. There's... I want to give you worms. Oh, it's a, how ironic. Well, what a coincidence. It's... I've always wanted to give you worms. Can I say something? Yeah. It's really kind of fun to really? pull them out. What? Yeah. You know what I want? Uh, you butt. know what I want to give you? Oh, you put inside your butt? Those dune worms. Oh, oh, with the vibrations. With the hook? Yeah. Vibrations, you, yeah. You tell them a show. I want a doom worm. Oh, I thought you meant you. in my head. Dune. All I could think about was the tremors. Like, <laughs> no, look at dune worms. No, watch the, look at the dune worms. It's uh, it's basically a giant anus. Oh, yeah. Look at the size because of the people. You want to shove that up my ass? Yes. <laughs> Just what for? What like what well, you want to give me worms? I want to give you that. I want to give you small, slimy oh, worms that bad. pickle your butt and not fucking kill you. You wouldn't die. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't think? Yeah, you would. You would implode. I'm sorry. You're right. That's a murder. Do you know that? Do you know what? what? What's your favorite cartoon of all time? <laughs> Car Car cartoon? Ren and Stimpy. Do you know that a lot of the first season, I think of the first season, um, was animated and made in the Philippines? So you're trying to say your favorite cartoon is from the Philippines? Your favorite cartoon <sighs> is made in the Philippines. That's interesting. FYI. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of it. I just I don't know. No, I, let me say something. I love the Philippines. Okay. I love Filipinos. I've always have and I always will. You have this weird, oh, also, by the way, and you guys are all wrong. What? And I'm going to prove to you that you're wrong. All right? Remember the, the, the last episode when I talked about saying to that Chinese actress, you know what I mean? China, it was, you know, China's known for two things, TikTok and COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys were all saying that it was wrong for me to say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, well, actually, it wasn't. <laughs> I, 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 I went to every comedian I could find. <laughs> Pulled them in. Listen, listen. I made it my life mission. 
I went to every comedian I could find, and probably about 20 of them. And credible ones. How many of them were Chinese? Television. You, them were you know what I mean? Headlining. How many, of them were, how many of them were Chinese? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, but I, no, it's, it's a, no, it, it, let's stop. No. Well, I'm just saying as a joke, as a joke, am I allowed to say it in a trailer at five in the morning? I already told you I would laugh, but I don't know about the lady that doesn't know you. To recap, guys. Yeah, recap. Bobby was on set, and he told a woman that he didn't know. What kind of woman was Met this? for the first time, a Chinese woman. Do you know the two things that China invented, COVID and what? No, I didn't say COVID. What no, are they known no, for? No, the joke. Oh, I'm sorry. Know the joke. Know the racist joke. <laughs> know the racist, racist joke. joke, okay? Come on, man. I went TikTok and, and then what? COVID. It, it's just not a great joke, it, I know. That's not my point. My point is, is so that you wanted to get validation from all your white brethren. No, you know, I lied. Only one guy. Who? <laughs> Santino. <laughs> <laughs> Santino I, said. I went to every comedian went, no, on the face of earth. No, I did, but they all said that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the biggest? But I went to said. No, I'm not gonna say. Come on. I went to Santino and he goes, I don't find, see a problem with it. And I looked at Santino and I go, that's why you and I are forever people. Mm. He's my forever guy. Mm. I can, it doesn't matter what I what I, I, I do, I he's gonna be banned. I guarantee Santino would never say that in a trailer if you paid him money. Well, I've heard him say certain things <laughs> that you know what I mean that are like on borderline like insane. I mean, I guess he's done some stuff on camera. But I love that guy. Haven't we all? Yeah, yeah we, we've all done. But my point is, is that so? Anyway, you guys were wrong about it. Oh, yeah. That was and also, if you're an ally, you're my friend, and we're family, right? You should back me. You okay with it? I will back you guys on every day of the week. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, how are you guys? Good? Good. <laughs> you got to sleep more. You look like terrible. He said my eyes look so tired, and it's because I've been sleeping three hours every day. Gilbert. Work. You can't no. tell that he doesn't look healthy? No, because he's been looking like this for a long time. For so, like, like three I months. just now think it's his baseline. But it's Gilbert, like three months. What is, you know, that's not good for you. You know that. I know. I need to. Your sleep. eyebrows are like a magician's. Great eyebrows, sleep. though. Yeah, but Thank it's like it's got that like you know what I mean. Sh- you know what I mean? Like like uh, show. Is this your card? It's yeah, that, yeah, like it's a show, show. Yeah, it's, like it's a, a sh- yeah. show tune eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. looks yeah. pretty good. But so you it's sleep more. You, I'm going to. Look, I, I need. You, to, also, I feel uh, like you're in a bad mood all the time now. Because <laughs> of my tired eyes, for sure. I agree. Oh, Gil. You sleepy Asian Asian eyes. Um, take some magnesium at night. I've been doing melatonin. It's not been working. No melatonin. I keep thinking magnesium. Do magnesium. So um. How do you guys feel about the writer strike? Oh, I was thinking. Okay, so a girlfriend of mine, another hottie. She's super wait, wait, where's hot. George going? Um, to g- it's Tiger Belly. Look, oh my well, god, walk you in. garbage. You know, on the podcast, it looks really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, you're, yeah. You're this arrogant. Is you're this arrogant. Is you're arrogant. <laughs> Look at me. Yes, I, I like what I'm saying. <laughs> He's a big fan, so he's like... Kind this of, is yeah, cool. He, I, Eric, he thinks Disney he's uh, one of the guys. You know Thank what I mean? You. <laughs> no, fuck you, dude. <laughs> it's not working. Fuck you. It's, it's not, not working, working, dude. What? It's not fucking working. What's not working? He what, what's he, happening? He, I told you how I feel, man. Do I have to wear these? No, you, you don't, don't have don't. to do anything, Okay, man. good. I feel like I'm not a right. rapper, You don't bro. have to do... Whoa. Bobby has a major beef with you. Apparently. A lot of Why? What are you mad at me about? When I found out you were here today, I just got in a bad mood. Why are you mad at me? It's got in a bad mood. I love you, dude. I think I know where it's stemming. What? What? It was the night that we, you invited me, and I brought him to the Korean spa. Good night. I think it started there. That's you when guys, I fell in love with you. Oh, so you guys have like a real brotherhood. You went to the spa together. We went to the, we went to a wee spa together, the Korean spa together. Do you not remember this? No. He might have been also. No. Uh, so it was uh, another time you. No, I, I met a guy with you with mustache. Oh yeah, I did. There was another guy. Was that that guy from the? Are you you're the guy with the mustache? I was, yeah. I'm oh, I like him. <laughs> 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 Who did you think I was? I don't know. I was just like, I don't know the guy. Yeah, like Tyler I, I'm Durkin. I'm so confused. Well, I, I, listen, I, I, listen. At the end of the day, of course I know who you are. <laughs> that was one of the greatest nights of my life. I'm like an actual fan. Well, I'll tell you the reason why you won won up with me. What happened? Is because you betrayed Joe Coy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. You, you betray Joe Coy to be with me, and once somebody does that, right, yeah. they're in with me for life. I'm I'm scared of Joe, so now I Andrew edit Dwight. this out. Edit this. I'm out. not editing it. No, no, Joe, absolutely not. Joe, Joe, and I talk about you a lot on the road. By the way, no, no. no. Can I say something? All the time. Well, uh, you know, Joe, he's been talking shit. Has he? 
<laughs> yeah, Andrews has been saying he's not that talented. <laughs> oh he does God. tricks on stage. You know what I mean? Hold the whole lighter in the audience. Like, what the fuck is that <laughs> yeah, all about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, you've been talking shit, but anyway, you know, keep using him. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been using his tricks to make more money. So yeah. now I know he's a clever man, one of the most talented guys. I love him. Mm -hmm. My point is, is this. So, um, you're here to plug a show. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the show. Who gives a fuck? I man? do. I don't care. I want I'm more a, coffee. I'm a, I, need more coffee. <laughs> I need more coffee. I need more coffee. Give me more coffee. Bobby, when are we gonna do a show together? We talked never, about this never, at never, We Spot. Never, never, you don't want to do a show with me? Never, never. I want to do a show with you. Never, never, never. I could sell a show with you in a heartbeat. Never, 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 never. Why are you so scared of success? Never, never, never. Why are you so scared of success? You could. Oh, do you it. want to? You, you want me to really boil it down to you? Yeah. You fucking tarts. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Why are you angry at us? Well, just saying. Why you guys know why. Look at me. Why are you so scared of success? Anyway, dude, Andrew, congrats. What are your oh, thoughts on, so Bobby, okay. So Bobby <laughs> bought the oh, no, shirt. No, okay. Oh, no, okay. I also want to, because he, he's Asian. He's, Thank you. yeah. And he's a they, comic. No, I got to tell about the fuck. Do you know what kind of Asian he is, though? He's Filipino. He's actually, I, I didn't even know this. He's half Korean, half Filipino? Exactly. So as an Asian guy, I want to just throw it by him. He's a comic, dude, very funny. He opened for us in Ace. At the Ace uh, Theater. Yeah, yeah. dude. You destroyed. Yeah. I was watching you going, oh, my God, this guy's so legit. You're in a new yeah, show yeah. with Seth Rogen. It's called what? Diabolical? It's called, it's called Diabolical. <laughs> I wish I wasn't Diabolical. What is it called? It's called Platonic. It's Platonic. On Apple with oh. Rose Byrne. Well, wow, Byrne. that's amazing. Yeah. And that Nick got picked Stoller up. directed. Is it out now? It comes out on the 24th. Congratulations. Okay. Congrats, Thank you. Andrew. That's Thank huge. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But anyway... <laughs> But I want to say, I want to say that Ace show was one of the greatest shows I've ever done. It was it's like incredible. The Tiger Belly show, yes, yeah. Top five times of my life on stage. Your guys' crowd is fucking fire. Well, it's a reflection it's, on us. We really, it really have is. the best crowd. It really is. It's a reflection it was, on their parents. It's, it was one of the, I'm going to come as a fan to the next shows. I, I would buy tickets over and over. No, you're a part of my family. So, um, Thank you. You want to do the shirt first and then mm -hmm. I'll yeah. I so go ahead. Here's what I want your opinion yeah. on. Bobby bought this shirt, which he thought was like, a men's shirt, um, but it turns out it's like a crop top. Um, but I still think he should wear it. Yeah. Right? Why not? What's the reason why not? Because I'm going the other way in life now. But your shirt right now looks like a crop top. <laughs> What's you're a bastard. What are you talking what about? What you're doing right now? I don't know rude. how to do this. What, you're what are you right talking now is about? Rude, uncalled for, and it wasn't a bastard. rude. I think you, I didn't I'll say you look bad. I'll tell I you didn't what. say you look bad. I tell you what. You come to my I house. I didn't say you look bad. You come to I my house and you like, say that I look fat. I didn't say you look fat. You <laughs> is said that what you you're look, doing? No, I think you look. You actually look. That's bastard behavior. You look skinnier than the last episode. Well, that's good. There you go. There we go. It's just a fact. I and crop tops. That's very good. Thank you. Male crop tops are bad. It's in. Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to get into it, but I'm not going to wear it. I'll tell you why, all right? I'm the other way now. What's the what? other way? I can't tell you later. I'll tell you later. <laughs> what is the but other I'm way? Telling you the way? Are you going to go like hyper-masculine? Because that's gross. I'm alpha. <laughs> no, you don't just decide you're alpha. No oh, yeah, one I'm does al that. I'm man. Hey, that red beanie? I'm man, you not. That red beanie. <laughs> <laughs> what? That red beanie's red pill, baby. The red pill. I'm oh, you're a red pill bro now? I'm a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? I'm yeah, a part of it. Well, Sean O'Malley told me. Oh. oh. Now, he didn't say it verbally, but just with his eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they know. People know now. Yeah. I'm man. <laughs> Here I roar. <laughs> La classic yeah, lion yeah, yeah. behavior. I'm man. Here, Here I, I roar. Here, Here, I, Here I roar. <laughs> I'm man. Here I roar. Make that a shirt. Yeah, man. I am man. Here, Here I roar. <laughs> so, anyway, um, may I throw something by you, oh, my friend? This is good. Mm. As a comic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And just and I don't want you to make a joke. I'm starting to think you're really proud of this joke, and I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> we've been talking about it for three podcasts. I, I, three I, just, I just hung up on it. <laughs> I, I I just hung, I, man, I, I hear uh, I just hung up on it, and I just want you to listen. Yeah, hear more. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm shooting something Monday for the first, like you know you know when you first you know you first show up to a set or whatever you don't know anybody. Yeah. But essentially, I'm always like you know I'm gonna be me. You know what I mean? And uh, right? Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hear me roar. Here I roar. Here I roar. Here I roar. Here I roar. So I'm so I'm I'm in <laughs> makeup, okay? And so the girl that's playing my girlfriend in it, I don't know her, but she's from China. Okay? Oh. <laughs> I know, yeah. Already, dude? Yeah. 
already, no, 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 already. I'm not I'm even going to finish. I'm, I'm, I was I'm not already not going to finish. Yeah, crazy? Crazy? I already know what your point of view is going to be. No, no, you're no. one of those woke ones. No, I'm not. I don't. You're know. a woke Asian, dude. I don't ah. know what that means. What? I don't know what that means. All right, could I just finish it? Yeah, yeah. Go without you fucking going. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is. Is this a you? What is it for? Is it for maker? YouTube? Maker. Oh, I don't even like. Your tone now, like <laughs> I'm like doing low level shit. I didn't say that. Why do you? It, happen, it happens to be the director was Bill Burr. Have you heard of him? No. <laughs> Bill, I know he's joking. I'm but joking. Bill, no, 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 Bill, no, 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 Bill, Bill, you ever see me do stand up? I'm a lot like Bill on stage. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, please. He's the Philippine. You know what? That's the most arrogant. You told me that one time. Boss, boss, I was there at <laughs> fucking I did, ball. I did, I did you were in the jade room and you did say that. <laughs> <laughs> you told me. I remember. I, didn't, I remember. I remember. I'm sorry. I saw, I did. But I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. No, I was just lying. Why? Just because I don't know you. I'm just throwing things out. <laughs> <laughs> go back, hey, 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 like, in the jade room, I go cray cray. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember when in the jade room it was all, that was my first time at We Spa, by the way. Yeah. All white people. All white people. I know. We Spa. I know. Felt at home. You were uncomfortable with the penis thing, though, with us being naked. Yeah, yeah you were. I wasn't uncomfortable. You were. 100%. I was uncomfortable with yours. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why? But because he, I know he's my friend. There was like, I didn't want to. It felt like you were trying. I'll to be honest. Bobby. He, did, he didn't know that we were yeah. going to this thing, so he that's was confused true. when I went to a, the spa and started taking my clothes off. It was late yeah. too. It was like one in the morning. One in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it was. It was. But it was my first time there. Way. I had a blast. It was a great time. Yeah. It was a great time. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Oh, it's okay. All right. No, no noises. No reactions until I do it. Okay. Straight face. So the the, <laughs> the girl next to me is Asian. Her makeup artist is Korean. She's female. Oh. Right? Both girls. Five in the morning. Also think... <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Five in the morning, right? It, I'm tired, right? And I'm like, hey, where are you from? To the girl that playing... She goes, I'm, she has an accent. She goes, I'm from China. I go, oh, I love China. They're known for two <laughs> things, TikTok and COVID. And then the whole room... The whole room just... You could change the you know the atmosphere changed. Yeah, and I look over at the girls. You know me. I just woke up. I'm looking over, and I, and in my head, I'm like, uh oh, mm. I fucked up, right? Because they just didn't. Left. You could see in their face. Yeah. And then when she left the thing, the Asian makeup artist, she goes, "How dare you?" What they said? How dare you? Because to me, what? What did you do? I love you already. <laughs> what? Because oh, of, because of the joke. It's oh, but it's true. COVID. It's true though. You're, do, you're doing what Santino did. <laughs> I love you so fucking much. I had right no now. idea what you're... <laughs> Dude, I no, no, stop, stop, stop. Face that flat. <laughs> you... What's happening? No, it's, it's, oh. Stop, stop. He's praying. Thank you so much. I love you so much. You're welcome. And I, 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 I knew from the beginning when I met you <laughs> that you were going to be one of my guys. I love you, man. I love you so much. And Joe Coy. So you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're all one happy family. Let me say something to you. Uh, so what you're saying to me, as, like, let me just get this straight. What you're saying to me is you don't see the problem? I, don't, I mean, TikTok was made in China. Korea. China. China, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> okay. I... No comment on the COVID thing, but I heard something about co China and COVID one time. I get it. Yeah. I get it. So um, so then what I had to do is I had to profusely apologize to the makeup artist. Did they ask for that or did you No, she was like, I can't, I can't believe you did that. She goes, um, really, in this day and age, you're making a racial joke like that against our own people, you know, that kind of thing? Mm. They know you're Bobby Lee, right? Like, that's the thing I never understood. When people are comics, you're being funny. Is that... Did they just not understand that? They didn't know who I was. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Maybe that's also the pain. Just an Asian guy yelling oh. things. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, I, I'm just sitting there. I don't oh. think they know who I was. Right. That might be. And then they're like, oh, who's this no. newcomer? <laughs> oh, who's right. this up and coming yeah, yeah. comic? Mm -hmm. So I throw it out there, and then I had to find the girl on set that's playing my... She's very talented, very nice girl. Yeah, too. yeah. And I, I leaned against the wall... You know, how'd you get this job? Like, I try to segue into it. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, by the way, I apologize for the COVID. I don't know what I mean. And she then was she, cool with it? she was cool with it. My point being is, is that then in my head, I'm like, was that that big of a deal for me to have to do the tour, the yeah. apology tour? And I did it because I, you never know these days. Yeah. The, I had a situation like that once. I, I was doing a general, one of these things where you, like, whatever. And they were asking me if there were any Filipino IP projects I wanted to write, which 
already it's like no you know like i don't want to write some identity thing so i uh i made a joke in there i was like no i don't have any filipino ip i want to do but if you guys want me to write super they i'm down <laughs> oh and uh, it was just uh, flat <laughs> and then i <laughs> love you and then my, my, i love you and then, and then i had to be like I would though. Flat again. Flat again. I love you. I, but I did do the apology tour, and uh, I never got a job with them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, Santino has a story. I can't tell it because he's ne hasn't. He's never told it before, and he's gonna. No, but I'm not gonna say. It. But he's gonna tell it one day because it's a, a story like that. Yeah, where it's pretty crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like we all have our moments. Mm -hmm. We throw it out there. And then we we don't we read the we fucked up we never read the room yeah right and we're in a situation you know and yeah. that's but it gets worse as I guess as society changes it becomes you know a lot more harder to yeah. even know so that's that's why I can't really say anything well I think what's what's weird about it being a comic and having that is that I think you know generally speaking intrusive thoughts stay in your mind and you let them stay there but when you're a comic your intrusive thoughts I think how you deal with them is you say them out loud yes and it gets very scary because we know that it's bad a lot of the times but that's the joke also i learned recently in therapy that when you um like say all of these crazy things and you like you know especially the shit that we talk about it's a way of placing distance between those terrible things that happen to you and yourself uh, like for instance when you talk about like the way i'm like oh i got fat fisted by my family doctor or whatever like yeah or some version of that it's actually a way of like almost super intellectualizing that trauma and like so that you don't have to like in like feel it presently yeah. because when you're feeling it you almost can't remember the trauma itself it's just placing distance yeah. you throw these things out there it's a way to like also for people to not even be close to you yeah you know what scares me about that though mm -hmm. is that there are so many things that i can't joke about yet and though so i'll like joke about give me my one name. we'll bleep it out <sighs> just give me one we'll bleep it out really if you're uncomfortable yeah what can't you joke about uh so the things I, it's almost like I have an armor where I'll be like, I can joke about this, I can joke about that. And everyone goes, Andrew's so honest. But I'm not, because I'm actually hiding the things mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually scared of. Yeah. And, and I can't find the joke for those things. And yeah. it, it freaks yeah. me out. I mean, I, I, I mean, that's an interesting question. Are there things that are so personal to you and so dark that maybe there are some things you just can never find a joke for? Yeah. You know, um... I'm trying to figure out what that thing would be, but it's like, um, and if you can, you know what I mean? I've seen comics do things that I never thought you could do, and they say it in the right way, and I always go, oh, fuck, that's how you do it. Yeah. Mm. Maybe mm. that's what it is, but it's like, um, like right, let me ask you guys this. Mm -hmm. mm. And I, I was doing this, and I felt guilty about it, but you know, I met a girl you know, on, when we're on the road, yeah. and she has a boyfriend that doesn't live in that state, and I was just kind of trying to convince her to break up with her, him. Because you found her attractive. Yeah, yeah. To date is that her. is that wrong? Did she give you vibes? I feel like there was, yeah. Well then. But what were you saying to convince her? Like, was she like telling you this guy has been doing this? Like, was she? No, like, she's. Open a I've met. Up? I've met him before. But did she describe the boyfriend as someone who was maybe not a positive thing in her life? No, he's a great guy. It's a positive thing. Mm. But and she was. I, I'm so attracted to her though that I'm like. Let's give it a go. Were you, know you I mean? were you doing it so that you could be the new boyfriend or so that you could sleep with her? Mm, good question. Well, that's hard to say. Then no, I don't see. No, no, I, I, it's hard to say because I would, you know what I mean? Um, but I don't know her that well. The answer is yeah. no. Exactly. The so that's no, like, yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think I feel bad. Yeah, it, no, I don't think you should if you feel interested in the person, you know, and that she's giving you vibes back. I think that that's... Your yeah, but it, it may, I don't know. Am I reading it right? I don't know. I Probably not. But. but there's a way to do it, right? Like, maybe she's in a relationship now. You know, that's maybe not a forever thing. And then get in there when the time is right. Yeah. And it's her responsibility as the one in the relationship to choose whether or not she wants to accept you right. coming on to her or not, I think. Yeah, it's, it's funny. You meet certain people, you know, on the road especially, right? And, you, you know, or you're just in a coffee shop or something, you see something. It's just hard to, you know, you know it's, it's so... It's a perfect example of this, yeah. and we may have to cut this out. <laughs> we'll see. A perfect example <laughs> is the guy I was last seeing, mm. right? I, don't, I think that person does not keep relationships sacred. Bro, bro. You, what, what you're doing right now, baby? Yeah. I'm, I, 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 bro, 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 let me say something. Yeah. I'm about to cry. 
Dude, yeah. I, I, I'm sure. being real. And I'm just being real with you. The I'm just being you're real. the future, buddy. Thank you so all much. Right. No, no, I'm not. Stop. I, thank you. You're the future, right? <laughs> I appreciate future. that. Thank you. You know, you're a future person. Thank you. And I want to say this too, okay? I, may, may you have the world at your disposal. Thank you, man. May you run the gambit. <laughs> may you soar above the clouds with the angels. That. May you, <laughs> may, may the endless amounts of pleasures. Yeah. You know right? Yeah. I anoint you, my friend, <laughs> and I I bless you, dude. <laughs> and I and I let me say that forever, you and I, dude. We are one. Oh man! I, no, I'm being real. I know, I know. And we, I am your ally. Yeah. You can tap me. Yeah. For any reason, I am a comrade. No, oh, all man. right. Yeah. And we will win the war. I love you. Thank you forever, my friend. Too, yeah, man. thanks, dude. Dude, I want to tell you something. I know I'm I'm an earnest guy, yeah, but yeah. like 21 year old me is like crying right now that you're doing that. To yeah, me. I bro, really appreciate. I, yeah, it. you also look like my uncle right now doing that because my <laughs> uncle used to do that to me. <laughs> my yeah, uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uncle, when I was a kid, would be like, "You're yeah. gonna start on the basketball team." Yeah, yeah, you are. And thank you. No, I, honestly, I, I I think that you have a bright future. Really? Yeah, I do. And I, I've seen you say that to like almost every uh, person on the show. I do. <laughs> There's so much evidence. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, I can do a no, 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 no. If you want. But I believe. No, 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 you. no, no I don't no, think. Yeah. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Right. Okay. I never give him that speech though. <laughs> to Jimmy O Yang. To Jimmy O Yang. I gave him that speech. Yeah. May Pretty you close. do all that. You did that, but then you said he also looked like he was made in a factory. So I didn't get that part. He's a factory person. He is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they make millions of those, yeah. right? You're an original. Thank my friend, you, man. Right. Thank you. You're one of a kind. Can we get back to how that guy is a fuckhead? <laughs> this guy, hey, what's up, guy? Me right, more. so I'm going to say something to you and anybody. Else. If you were once an ally of mine, mm -hmm. right, and we were a part of the same platoon, okay, <laughs> or pride tribe, wow. yeah, tribe, and you betray me in that way, you have a new enemy. Yes. Okay. Why do you keep doing this? Then he's like, you're I don't know. I'm, I'm putting it. everything in quotes. Yeah, yeah. So people write it down. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why you use this. I'm using quotes so everyone writes. That's it how you down. do it. Write it down wow. in your journal. You guys do that? I could never. If, I get I it, never, bud. I could never. I'm with you 100. percent Anyway, let's move on from yeah. it. But my yeah. point is, is this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he doesn't. You're not gonna shake my hand. I am. All right. Yeah. This is beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love him I'm so in the show called Platonic. I love this. No, like seriously, Andrew, like I love him so yeah. much. I realize after like dating other people, I'm like, I, I, you know, when you date someone new and you try to get out there and you're like, they ask you like in, in earnest, like, you know, what are your thoughts about your ex? And I'm sure everyone wants to hear like, oh, you know, he did this to me or this wasn't right. And all I can really say is like, I don't know, like, I just love him. So yeah. like, if you're okay with me loving this person for the rest of my life, we can date. I love if it. not, yeah. I, we cannot. Good one. Yeah. My, I was a bridesmaid <laughs> in my Clever. first love and my best friend's wedding. Oh, you were? That's yeah. so and cute. So I, thank you. And I think that, like, I get that. Because I there, there's two versions of soulmates, right? There's the version that Elizabeth Gilbert says where a soulmate comes into your life, puts a mirror up to you, fucks you up, shows you all of your insides that That's you like never knew That's like twin flamey up. shit. Yeah. yeah. Then disappears and yeah. then you remember that person forever because they brought out the real you. Yeah. The other soulmate is the soulmate that stays around forever, thick and thin, and you're always connected by a string, right? Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you guys are both depending on whatever month it is. And I think that that's an interesting thing because oh I think- Oh my God, I don't know what you're doing. What? I love it. This is why this guy writes TV shows. You're the best. Right? You're a writer too, huh? Yeah, do you want to? I was trying to write a show for you. You're gonna. I hit up CAA being like, I want to write a show for Bobby. I want to write a show for Bobby that is like an FX show that is like, it's prestigious. Like, and I think that you are somebody that should be seen as an artist. And the thing about it is that you don't need a big audience to watch it, it's just one of the things you do. See, that's. Are you learning? I'm learning so much. Yeah. about this guy? I, know, I, I understand know, This, this guy know. talks on every day. I understand. I understand I you, dude. I, I understand he's like you. He's one of the first people that found me. You, you know what kind of Filipino you are? You're the dark day. Thank you. Without the bad stuff. That was, the bad a, stuff. that was a weird... <laughs> <laughs> hey, without man. the bad stuff. You're mean yeah. to poor people, Minus dude. Minus the bad stuff. <laughs> I, Minus the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I heard he's moving to Glendale. Did you guys hear that? Really? I heard this rumor. I heard he likes Do we have to have him... On this podcast, did Derek? Yeah. Do you have him or not? <laughs> of course, I'd have yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, you know he's like his, honestly, Tiger Belly is his brand. Yeah. Like he's a fucking dirty scoundrel. Yeah, disruptor. Yeah. Dis yeah. disruptor. He's, he's a disruptor. He's, a he's all disruptor. sorts of yeah. fucked up. I, 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 I'm not saying that I agree with the politics of Donald Trump or I agree with the politics of Duterte, but they're funny, dude. 
The guy yeah. went the guy went up on the podium and goes, "If you're a drug dealer, I will kill you." Yeah, I love to fuck women. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in the same sentence? Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like this yeah. guy is all right. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like you. <laughs> just, yeah, I love it. <laughs> you, know, he, you know, here's the deal, you know. Here's the de real deal, right? There are extremes on both sides, mm -hmm. and I realize that now, okay? I was far left, hippie, liberal, and no longer. I'm in the middle. Mm, I yeah. see both sides. I kind of understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's the people that really run this planet. Are, they, they need us to be fighting, and for them to do what they're doing behind our backs mm. to keep us off the ball, right? And I'm no longer gonna do it. It's a trick. Yeah. It's a trick, dude. Yeah. I agree. That's the yeah. that's that's the duality. You can everybody can be everything. That's what I think. I think so. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I got I got diagnosed OCD and bipolar a couple months ago. <laughs> and I, I told the doctor, I told the I doctor, know, I, know. I told the doctor I was like, fuck you. And and I took the pills. You know, you mm -hmm. can be but like I exactly. You know, I oh, yeah. I bought a gun a couple months ago Bingo. and I share Second it Amendment. with my roommate. Right to bear so, arms, my friend. Yeah. That's Social. like yeah. I, you can do a lot of socially. I share it with my roommate. I, I, I want to tell you where I changed yeah. when I went to Dollywood. Why? <laughs> because you know I'm in Pigeon Fork, right, Louisiana. Yeah. I don't know where. What, pigeon? Pigeon? Pitch, fork? Pitch fork? I don't Pigeon, pigeon Forge. Fork? Pigeon for Tennessee. Oh. Forge Tennessee. Is this recent? recent? Oh, well. You post this on your Instagram, right? You went there recently. I did. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I thought we were cool, bro. <laughs> hey, I was there. I was at Dollywood, it. and I was like, gonna go. Oh, this is gonna be interesting because, like, when I go to Disneyland in Anaheim, you know, people recognize me. But this is gonna be. I'm gonna feel invisible here, which is great. Mm. But I, it was the polar opposite. And it's like, these are the people that are, um, these are my fans too, you know what I mean? And these are people that get me. And I made a lot of judgments about, you know what I mean, certain you know, areas of regional, you know what I mean, judgments. And I, I read- <laughs> Regional the judgments. Re regional judgments, man. And I realized, no, um, we sp all speak the same language and there's a commonality and yeah. a bond that we, I have with these people. And um, yeah, I, I love them. Yeah. Dude, I love them. I I I'm I grew up in Iowa, and I think I I was the best place on earth. Here, this is okay. Let's go to the racism part, right? Let's, the thing about it there. is that like I grew up in a town of all white people. I was like one of the only people of color in that town, and I experienced more racism in Los Angeles than I did there, because there it was more ignorance than racism. I had to like teach them who I was, and once I got acclimated and understood who they were and they understood me, I was accepted as long as I was a neighbor. But then in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. people here are born and raised around all different kinds of people and they choose to hate the way they hate. Wow. And I think that like, there's a lesson of education there and exposure and that all people, you can't judge them by their region that they are, you have to judge them by the person they choose to become mm. and the people they surround themselves with. Especially but, because you have like all the means to be Educated mm -hmm. here in yeah. Los Angeles, you know you're you're immersed in it. Like yeah, you couldn't be in a bigger melting pot of races. Yeah, it's so and it's so weird. Like this <laughs> is the place where culture is represented um, in the media from, and they choose for so long to only represent one side of it when they're surrounded by it. But like when I was in Iowa, like no, like nobody, they didn't want to. They put me up everywhere. Like I was like mm. in on the basketball team I was on the jazz band I was on the homecoming court and it was like never because of anybody's race there is because I was who I was and then were you here, in the homecoming court yeah what thanks. does that mean I was well, I'm one of the most popular kids in my class but you know there was only like 50 people in oh there, you know how does that make you feel Bobby <laughs> was, like four people <laughs> yeah yeah it was pretty oh, cool. how does that make you feel were oh, you even nominated what's wrong hold on dude you're bringing a lot of trauma up man yeah. no this guy was a popular dude <laughs> I mean, I mean, but congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I don't, I don't have to shy away from you. it. Congratulations, man. You're popular. I'm not going to shy away from it. But the thing was, is that I loved everybody where I grew up. They were, everybody there was popular. I think I would have hated you though. I don't think you would have. <laughs> I think, I think I we would have been friends. No. I think we would have been friends. Did you wear a Letterman jacket? No. Okay. But you hung out with the cool kids? Yeah. And the losers. He's in jazz band too. Come on. I, look, Bobby, look at the belt I'm wearing. Look at this. Hot topic, dude. I was like, I was oh, kid. yeah. I was like, yeah, dude. Dashboard I was, I confessional. Would, I, I was a dashboard kid. Yeah, yeah I was you're a, a dashboard kid. Aren't they from kid. San Diego? I don't know where they're from. I you know what I mean? They are. I like them. I, I love them. Like, I, really? 
I liked him secretly. Like, oh. I, okay, me too. Guilty yeah, pleasure. I, 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 I'm so glad yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it? Why does it have to be? A I, I, there's certain things. Not I don't anymore because I go to yeah. emo night and stuff. So I once like a week I'll listen openly to en now. Enya. Really? But Enya is not emo. Enya is to be respected but it's still by embarrassing. the world. Why? No, it's why? Not. Enya's amazing. Because I'm, you know, I, I, I'm man. I hear I roar. You're right. Uh, You're right. So, but there's something beautiful about like a man who listens to Enya. It's like John Bernthal-y. Yeah. Know, like, it's very yeah. like Bernthal I'll fuck yeah. you up and protect my yeah, cub. Yeah. Another one person I listen to that I'm embarrassed. I want people to know that I listen to is uh, Sarah McLaughlin. She's great. Yeah, oh, but great. that's not. She's she's a legend. Yeah. I know, but still, there's a part of me that's very like you know secretive about it. Soft. You what do you to listen to? Right? I go a tool, but I'm listening to Sarah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, this is a uh, master of puppets oh, you know, Metallica. You know who he loves, loves, loves? Like hmm. every night, I would. He he didn't think that I could hear um, yeah. what he was listening to, but it was so fucking loud. Oh yeah, my ear, yeah. When yeah. I was listening, yeah, is um Demi Lovato. Oh, how embarrassing. When did you start listening Why to her? I love her. Oh, he loves her. Really? Yeah. But then she, when we did it. What? She wasn't that nice to me at the show that I worked she on. She wasn't not nice either. But she wasn't also out of her, and like I went, hi, she said, hi. No, she said hi properly. You she, it just was, she wasn't like, oh my God, Bobby Lee, which is what you would have That's played. what I wanted. Yeah. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I guess you're right. Is there anywhere in America that you go that people don't know who you are? I feel like oh, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. No. You just said Dollywood and Disneyland. Korea, oh. Korea. Oh. No, I bet everyone. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me, let me think. It, yeah, okay. So Dollywood wasn't like Disneyland and Anaheim, where it was like, but it was like enough for me to go. Oh, you know what I mean? Like Bad Friends is reaching, mm. and Tiger Bell is reaching. You know what I mean? Parts of the place I just never thought. Let me ask you. This is a weird question as an Asian comic. Go ahead. When a uh, Asian person says, I'm a huge fan, or when a white person or a black person says, I'm a huge fan, do you get a different feeling? You mean comic? No, no, just anybody. Yeah. Like, you're out and about, and, like, you go to the mall, and somebody comes and approaches you, and it's an Asian person or some other different ethnicity. Do you feel different? Yeah, I mean, it's like, when it's... <sighs> when it's an Asian, I, I kind of go, I get it. You know what I mean? But if it's like... A white guy or white person or any other race, Mexicans I get. Mm. You know what I mean, we're similar. Are you, know you I mean? extra flattered when it's a white person? Is what you're saying? When it's like a shirt tucker, like kind of like um, I'm going to the office, kind of white. You know, um, it's a little flattering, but not just because it's like on this service. I don't know why they like it, mm. but then when you get to know them, you go, oh yeah, I get it. You know what mm. I mean? I think it's not for me. It's like. No, you know what? I'm going to take that back. I don't. F I feel flattered every time. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. I feel flattered every time because it's like, um, you know, I've been around since for a while. And, um, you know, it's it's cool that to think that I'm still a little viable. or Yeah. yeah. I get that. But yeah. th there is a thing, though, too. It's like when an Asian person says they like me, they're like a Casio watch. When a white person says they like me, it's like a Rolex because it's like a, it's a little bit of like a success thing. I'm like, oh, I translated. You know? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wear it a little stronger. No, but what I re realized about white people is, is that they don't really care anymore. What do you mean they don't care? I mean, in general, like I think 20 years ago, they were like, hey, Bobby Lee, an Asian comic. Or whatever. Oh yeah, I mean, and now it's just like a comic. Like I, I like when we, uh, I, uh, Andrew, you know, and I would do meet and greets for the Bad Friends tour, and ninety five percent are people that are not Asian. Yeah, only five percent maybe or three percent are Asians. Yeah, like the population. You know what's interesting that you say that now that you say that it's like yeah, I feel like this this the entertainment industry is the people that usually <laughs> tend to call us Asian comics more than regular people. I, I, like, yeah. I, I, which I is really so. weird. And then they're saying that they're trying to like break that stereotype by saying, we're trying to break the stereotype of Asian comics by talking about Asian comics. They're announcing and you're it like, wait a minute. Like, yeah. Oh, so there's a far difference. They think we're all the same, but there's a far yeah. difference in terms of casting Ken Jeong, Randall Park, or me. Yeah. We're all three completely different energies and um, mm -hmm. personalities and types, mm -hmm. right? But they view us the same category, mm -hmm. right? right? Yeah. When it's like, no, it's like mm -hmm. comparing Chris Pratt to fucking Paul Giamatti. <laughs> yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Like if they're going, we want a white guy, yeah. right, for this. Paul so let's look at, let's see, yeah. you know, Chris Pratt, Paul Giamatti, and um, let's, uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Of those names you mentioned, Randall <laughs> Park, you and Ken Jeong. Yeah. 
who is Chris Pratt and who is Paul G. Giamatti and who's Clint mm, Eastwood? Yeah. And I know what you're doing right now, and 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 I and I you know I um say to you um farewell. Yeah. Well, you. Know- <laughs> What, you're saying goodbye to her? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm saying goodbye to that fucking... Um, that, um, but I will answer it, okay? I know you want to. I want to, right. You, what you're saying is that I'm the Paul Giamatti. No, that's no, 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 no. That's what you're saying. You. That's, that's what you're cool. fucking saying. And you know what? Uh, farewell to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And, and you're in your face. Wait, Andrew, who is um, Korean and who is... My dad um, is half Korean, half Filipino, and then my mom's full Filipino. So oh. Mm. Quarter, so you're yeah. quarter Korean. You're yeah. quarter Korean. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Thank you, man. So, um, what? Did you, ma'am? you. you say ma'am? No, man. Oh. Thank, you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, dude. Yeah. You gotta Wait, listen. I, um, <laughs> so you recently got diagnosed with, um, <laughs> you recently got diagnosed with bipolar and OCD. Did yeah, but well, I did a bunch know? of tests and stuff because it was like, I got lucky, you know, like with um, just kind of access of, of having health insurance stuff. And I did all the tests and the conclusive result is that I'm not bipolar. It was OCD. And mm. So oh, like, I yeah, I got OCD. What's this uh, extreme BTS thing you're doing with your hair? This oh, new, I, yeah, this is new. This is this was uh, this is I, you know no, why I not? Who gives a fuck? I do. Why? It just bothers Maybe me. Maybe you should really? be blonde. Oh, I think you, you should bleach good. your hair. I feel like you've done. Have you never dyed your hair? He's done highlights. I think I've seen you with. You would like, look good. Frosted tips. Frosted tips. Like you would this? look good. You would look good. Yeah, because when I was your age, though, I did different things, mm-hmm. and you're gonna regret this. But I did this. Di- you will, I promise really? you. But I did different things with my. I, for a year, I did a whole mohawk, right? I would do just different t- different types of styles, yeah. thinking this is against the grain. You know what I mean? This mm-hmm. looks cool. I don't give a fuck. Same attitude. Yeah. But I promise you, in 20 years, I don't think this looks cool. I think this looks bad. No, I think you do look. Cool. I think it looks. Do you good. really? Yeah. But I, I do Thanks. also believe that 20 years from now, you're gonna look back and go, ugh. Really? I think I'm going to look back and be like, I'm glad I tried something. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I hope. I hope. I think you, but because like, I look back in old pictures of Bobby Lee when I used to Google you a lot, and I think you look good in everything. I look, oh, you look oh. good in all this stuff. I, I agree. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Okay. You look great. Thank you. What is this right here? You're gonna, do you think you're going to regret this? Well, th- now I re- essentially really don't care. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But back then I still cared. Yeah, I don't like, care. Like, yeah, yeah. This is like camera. that right there. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, you look cool. Uh, I, I just don't like. Uh, it I like her You now. got like the twenty-eight days later look there. <laughs> 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 a zombie? <laughs> yeah. What? I hate. Look at it. It is shaved right here a lot. I don't know. Yeah, why. yeah, yeah. I it's think almost it looks balding. Cool. <laughs> it's like I worked in a Chernobyl you know factory or something. I don't. I'm not. <laughs> you look mean, younger. Now. I don't mean to be mean what? here, but Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. That is my <laughs> guess what? And guess what? And guess what? Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell to you, my friend. Uh, um, yeah, um, yeah, turn that off. <laughs> yeah, I look at different versions of myself and I go, oh my God, what was I thinking? But, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe it's Have you ever dyed own. your hair? Yeah. I did frosty. Do you, do, you, do you regret it? I've had mistakes. There, there was a time where I thought I was going to go blonde, but all it really turned was straight up orange. Oh, and, brass. Oh my God. And then whole, like, like just chunks of hair were coming out of my oh, no! I, I, it was but, so fucking I look so bad how old were you it was like in the beginning of our relationship uh-huh. actually oh. and, and he yeah. didn't say a word I stuck in yeah I just there was something I love her I see, look at that. there's just something about her I just, just for, uh, once I met her I was like I, I, I know this person do you guys still say I love you to each other yeah all the time every day, every day. Every day. it's great can I, can I throw you guys another uh, scenario real quick mm-hmm. before, yeah. because I, I want to know because it's bothering me mm-hmm Okay. Something that is really bothering me. So when we were on the tour bus, me, Andrew, and the and the gang, mm-hmm. Andrew decided one day, he goes, I'm going to go to, we're in Denver, he's like, because we're just driving through, and he goes, I'm just going to stay here for a couple of days. You guys take, so I took the bus from Denver by myself with the gang to um, uh, Washington State, oh, wow. and so he took flu, which I, that's not what I'm mad about, but during that ride, we went through Wyoming, Montana, mm-hmm. all these fucking places, right? And you know, you know the rule on a tour bus, right? Yeah. You don't poo. Yeah. Do you know that? I know that. Yeah, yeah. Because I was on Joe Coy's tour. Yeah, yeah. You don't poo in the thing, so you have to stop. Oh. If you poo, it stinks up the whole fucking thing. Mm. It's a nightmare for everybody. So um, we were in Montana. We went to a restaurant. I'm not blaming the restaurant, but I'm just saying that like at two in the morning, I woke up with a sharp pain in my stomach. Mm. Okay. Like it was like. I, like I had to get up and I'm going, oh my God, I, I want to go to the hospital. That's how painful it was. And then I farted and my butthole goes, we're ready. You know what I mean? Right. That's him going, uh, ready. You know what I mean? And um, 
you know, I, 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 it was like, you know, remember in um, The Hobbit where all the dwarves came to the Shire yeah. and knocked on the door? That's what the poo was doing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's come. Can we come in? So anyway, um, th there was no. I had a shit. It wasn't like, can you pull over? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. I had to do it right now. So I pooed in the fucking thing, and once I did, I regretted it. Why? Because you could just smell it. Yeah. It was almost as if like like the bus was made out of poo. But you were the only one on the bus. No. The whole team. The whole team was on the bus. Yeah. It was Juicy McCone, oh. uh, uh, Carlos. The bus driver, ever, except for Andrew, right? <laughs> so the next morning I wake up and you can smell bleach because um, we have a great driver and he cleaned it. Okay. He took the tank out and everything, right? But I told, Car I told Carlos, Juicy, and McCone, please don't tell Andrew I shit on the bus, <laughs> right? It's going to just, it's going to cause something, right? But he wasn't even there for it. Exactly. Yeah. So that night in Spokane, Andrew walks up to me and goes, you shit in the bus, didn't you? <laughs> Did you just have shit he, in the bus face? No, he wasn't on the bus, right? And so I know someone ratted me out. Who do you think? Uh, Maybe the bus driver. No, it wasn't him. But Andrew claims that he just had an instinctual thing. Oh, what that's you, what you're upset about. Yeah, so what do you think it is? <laughs> mm, mm, I do believe the instinctual thing. I also think that you give yourself away. You know when a dog is in trouble, they just look a certain way. They kind of like tuck a certain way. Like, who did this? Mm. And you always know which dog mm. did it. I think you had a, I just shit in mm. the bus face when you approached him. Mm. Mm. Is the first thing he said to you is you shit on the bus? Not you? even hello. Yeah, you had I shit in the bus face, I think. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, he should be the de 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 detective. Well, what did he say? Like, did he? Did you ask him? How do you know? Do you know? Do you know? What? Do you know? My instinct is this. Who told it? Somebody ratted me out. I think so. <laughs> I think so for sure. Bro, 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 bro. What are you trying to do? Marry me? Yeah. I think it was the tour bus driver because tour bus drivers are the most honest and they t they protect their bus. But I'll tell you why oh, okay. he didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I tell you why he didn't? Yeah. Because I, I I I thought about it. Right. He cleaned it. Right. He doesn't know, and none of the people talk to him, right? Because I'm the first one to get up. So I'm the first one that got up. We parked. He parked because we're at the venue. And he goes, I'll see you later. And he went to the hotel room because he sleeps during the day. Yeah. Right? He, there's no way he knows. Mm. There's no way he knows. Right? So it was one of the three kids. Who, who, are, who, are, who are your openers? They're not even openers. Juicy is a door girl, but she's a, a, She's an opener. She's an opener. Okay. Yeah. She's an opener. She's great. I shouldn't call Big them feature. other other comments. Yeah, yeah. And then um, Carlos is some Mexican dude we have. Yeah. You know what I mean? That we love. Yeah, yeah. he's just <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> and we have this guy, McCone, who's like this kid in turn him. got. Oh, wow. That was quick. You don't know who he is. You were yeah, quick. It was, him. That, it was McCone, it was right? Yeah, yeah. Because he's trying him. to get it. I'm going to call him Because even, even the way you instinctually said it, and then there's this. But you, yeah. It's, and that guy. Yeah. 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 Right, you know what, dude? We're calling McCone. We're, we're calling McCone right now, and I'm going to yell at him. And tell him yep. Andrew Lopez, another comic. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. And I could be wrong. I'm open to being wrong. The reason it can't be Carlos is because I think Carlos is like. Hi, Bobby. See how he answers. So, um, hey, dude. It's... Dude. What's up? Dude? Can you hear me? Yeah. So, um, you know, I had my good, fr he's like not more than a friend. He's like almost like essentially a part of me at myself. Thank you. He's like a limb. Okay. My friend. Yeah. So my friend's on and um, I, I asked him, you know, I gave him the scenario about the poo on the bus. <laughs> Right? Ooh, the laugh. Guilty yeah. laugh. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I gave him the scenario, and he immediately said, It was you that ratted me out. <laughs> the laugh. It went Why high. would I do that, Bobby? Because you're a rat. Bobby. I yeah. Would never rat Just admit it now. I'll tell you this, bud. I love you, man. What did you tell Santino then? Bobby, why would I tell Santino? I would want it to come out on the podcast. I'm not trying to win brownie points. I don't want to pin my parents against each other. Interesting. Interesting theory. You know what, dude? Because, because in a lot of ways, Santino shows his love to me more directly than you do. If anything, I want to win your love more than I want to win Santino's because he already shows me a lot of love directly. You don't show yeah, as a Jedi. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, yeah, yeah. You know what, dude? I'll, I'll get back to you. Who does he think? Who does he think? <laughs> nah, uh, yeah, yeah, who do you think that did it? If it wasn't Andrew instinctually knowing... Who do you think he did it? It smelled like a crime scene in there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Tell me right now who do you think did, did, did it? Give him the Ratted me out. Give him the options. He already I mean, knows. I, it's either I, Carlos I think, or Juicy. Tell me. I was going to say, I don't think either of those two. I know, rats. but if, if, if in a scenario, right, 
you had to choose. Who do you think that did it? <laughs> it was this fucking guy. <laughs> I, 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 I know, but just tell me who you think it is. Definitely. <laughs> or you, or you did it. So just tell me. <laughs> hurry, you you're on the podcast. Hurry. Anyone else under the bus, even for a hypothetical. So if in a hypothetical world, I would do it more so than the other two. Or can I just say this? You want to get in with me? This is not the way to get in with me. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, this is the opposite of way to get in with me. That's just fucking tell me right now. You're on the podcast. Bobby loves a rat, yeah. so you'll be in his good graces if you are the rat. Bobby, I'm not a rat. None of us are the rats. Wow. Mm. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye, Bobby. Love you. Stood with I think it was rat. McDonald's. McCone, you mean? McCone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McDonald's though is pretty good. Too. McDonald. <laughs> That's what his new name is. McDonald. McDonald. <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> He's McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I think I. I know. I, I get it. Yeah. He was the guy. I understand. Yeah. I understand. And, and dude, you know what, dude, you know what, dude? We should have a PI business. I'm down. Yeah, yeah we will solve every you, case. We, we could pitch that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, we, me and Theo did pitch it, and they you, bought it, but then they let it go because of the writer's strike. Oh, so this was recent. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Last week, they, we got it. You know, the writer's strike fucked us up. But, how is uh, uh, how is your guys' movie? You guys just did a movie together, right? A TV show. A movie. Yeah, okay. a movie. You're right. You're right. It was a movie. Um, no, it looks good. They're just trying to find a place. You know, have, uh, you know the, how independent movies go. Yeah. But this particular movie is a great cast. You know, it was you know. Um... <laughs> this place is a piece of shit. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Great cast. It, but, by the way, beautiful house. Yeah. Uh, do you have a big part in? Um, do you have a big part in the uh, TV show that you're on with Seth Rogen? Uh, they call it a series regular, but I don't know. I mean, do you, yeah. but do when I mean, did you show up on set going? Uh, I wish I had more lines. No, no, I'm grateful. Oh, you are? I'm grateful for that. What was Seth like on set? The greatest human being. He's one of the yeah. greatest. Guys. He loves you. I love him. He loves you. He's I, a was great wearing, guy. Um, I was wearing a Tiger Belly sweatshirt on yeah. set one day with your big fucking face on it. Mm -hmm. And it's on the back, you know? Yeah. And he walks up to me and he goes, that's, welcome. that's Bobby Lee. Yeah, yeah. And I turn and he told me the whole story about Pineapple Express, how they put the subtitles, but it's not what you guys are saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a great guy. I, I met him that's at a Kodak store, but he's a great guy. I love him. Yeah, he's, and, um, he loves you. What's he, the matter? He talks about. What are you doing? I can't lean back? No, you can't. Okay. He talks about me. I like when this happens. Go ahead. He, he talks does. about he me. Does. He says, you know, we talk a lot about how there's, you know, there's so there's such there's so many clips online of comics talking on podcasts and he was like Bobbies are good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, um I wish you I wish the best and luck in life. And dude, and I just want to say, dude, like I I truly you are this is the only podcast I listen to, by the way. And I lie to everyone. I tell everyone I listen to their <laughs> podcast. But I do it like sports. I don't know if you guys do this. I do this thing like sports where it's like, I just want everyone to like me because it's fun to be liked. So like, there's a, I'll, I'll watch like one sports center a week so that I can like fit in enough. So people will be like, oh, like they'll talk about sports. I'll be like, game seven. They're like, this guy gets it. And I do that with like most other podcasts. But this one, I actually watch every we should have. We should fly you out for one of our live shows again. I'll, I'll come, I'll, yeah, I'll for come a tiger do belly? Yeah, don't you think? You want to come uh, if we flew you out and <laughs> paid you a little something, that's a lot. You don't have to pay. I'll do it for free. Dude. You heard that first here. Yeah, I'll do, do it for free. free. I'd, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be honored. Dude, my mom was in absolute stitches because she was really? at the Tiger Belly show. Oh, she, she loved she you. She loves you. I, I, I mean, that was a great episode. I loved it. It was fun. Thank you so much. So yeah, glad that you great. came. Hey, man. I really do. I appreciate you guys, and I'm seriously yeah, such a fan. And thank you for everything you guys. Have done. It's a, it's okay. Um, how, what's <laughs> last really, question? Why are you Why are you afraid of success and love? I'm not. I'm killing it. Did you say and I love? know you are and love. Yeah, when love. I'm afraid of, but like why success? What uh, is the problem? It's not a problem. So I, I, I accept. It's it's the same thing as criticism too. Love. What is? do you mean? It's just like it. They're just words. I know. I already know instinctually that you do, and that's all I need. You know what I mean? I, you know, mm. the first day I saw you at the Wii Spa, that was the first time I ever met you. Yeah. As soon as I saw you, I was like, yeah, this guy is a, you know, he, we love each other. You know? Oh, I, I know. That's so sweet. I, I understand that, but I, 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 I just like to say it. Uh, okay. And I accept it. <laughs> Dude, man, this is great. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah. And farewell to you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I love you. Angela Lopez, everyone. Check out Platonic. Oh,